Chemistry Lecture Number 78, Molarity, Preparations from Stock Solutions. A stock solution is a concentrated solution used to make other solutions of lower concentration. For example, suppose I have an 8 molar copper sulfate stock solution and I want 600 milliliters of 4 molar uh, copper sulfate. If I take 300 milliliters of the 8 molar solution and add water until the volume is 600 milliliters, I'll have diluted the concentration to 4 molar. So here's a picture of what I'm describing. So I have an 8 molar copper sulfate solution and I want a 4 molar solution. I don't want it to be this uh, concentrated. So what I do is um, I add water until the volume doubles. So we have 300 milliliters of solution. I add water until the volume of the solution is 600 milliliters. And by uh, increasing the amount of water, I've diluted the concentration down from 8 to 4. So by adding water until the volume has doubled, uh, I reduce the concentration by half. We can use a formula to help us calculate the amount of stock solution we need to prepare a dilute solution. M1V1 equals M2V2. So M1 is the molarity of the concentrated stock solution. Uh, V1 is the volume of the stock solution. M2 is going to be the molarity of the dilute solution, so that's the molarity after you've added water to it. And V2 is the volume of the dilute solution, so that's the new volume after you've added water to dilute the concentrated solution. And the units of volume can be anything, uh, milliliters, liters, gallons, quarts, etc. As long as V1 and V2 both use the same type of volume unit, uh, you can use any volume unit you want. So as long as both V1 and V2 are milliliters, or uh, V1 and V2 are liters, or both of them are gallons, uh, you can do it. All right? You can't do it if uh, V1 is milliliters and V2 is gallons. That doesn't work. They both have to be the same type of volume unit. Let's try a problem. How much 2 molar magnesium sulfate is needed to prepare uh, 1 times 10 to the 2 milliliters of 0.4 molar magnesium sulfate? So let's figure out what they give us and what they ask for. Well, looks like we're going to add water to the 2 molar solution and dilute it down to 0.4 molars. So 2 molar magnesium sulfate, that's the uh, concentrated stock solution. So this 2 molar is the molarity of the uh, stock solution. So M1 is 2. <clears throat> and then um, we don't know how much of this concentrated stuff we're going to use. That's what they're asking for. How much stock solution. So V1 is unknown. All right, But we're going to prepare uh, 1 times 10 to the 2 milliliters or 100 milliliters of the dilute solution. So V2 is 100. And I wrote it this way to establish that we're going to use three units of significance. Um, once we've established that it's three units of uh, significance, I'm just going to write it the regular way because it's easier to do the math uh, when I see it in a normal fashion. Anyway, um, 0.4 molar magnesium sulfate, that's the molarity of the diluted solution after we've added water. So M2 is going to be a 0.4 molar. All right, so here's our formula, and we just substitute the values into the formulas. M1 is 2. V1, we don't know, we're going to solve for that. M2 is 0.4, and then V2 is 100. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rewrite this without all the units because it's easier for me to solve if I don't have a whole bunch of letters screaming at me. So instead of writing 2 molar, I'm just going to write 2, and then V1. Instead of writing 0.4 molar, I'm just going to write 0.4. Instead of writing 100 milliliters, I'm just going to write 100. All right, so if we're going to solve for V1, I think we'll just divide both sides by 2. And if we do that, the 2's cancel here. And then V1 is going to be 0.4 times 100 divided by 2. So if you do that, 0.4 times 100 divided by 2, it gives us 20 milliliters. So what does this 20 milliliters mean? It means that this is the amount of stock solution we need to prepare 100 mils of the dilute solution. So, to re-express that, 
It means that to prepare 100 mils of the 0.4 molar solution, you take 20 mils of the 2 molar stock solution and add water until the volume is 100 milliliters. Let's try another problem. If 15 milliliters of 10 molar HCl solution is diluted to 3 times 10 to the 2 milliliters, what is the molarity of the diluted solution? So let's figure out what they give us and what they ask for. 15 mils of 10 molar, and then we're adding water to it. So this is the concentrated stock solution. So this is the molarity of the concentrated stock solution. So M1 is 10. All right. And then they tell you how much of the stock solution we're uh, using, 15 mils. So V1 is 15. And then we've added water until the diluted solution is 300 milliliters. So after we've added water, uh, the volume is 300. V2 is 300. And we want to know what's the new concentration after we've added water. We're solving for M2. What is the molarity of the diluted solution? What is M2? All right. So. Let's uh, go ahead and plug the numbers into the formula. M1, V1 equals M2, V2. So M1 is 10, V1, 15. M2, well, we don't know, so we'll just leave that. V2 is 300, all right? So here's our setup. And then this is just gonna be rewritten without all the letters, uh, all the units. So instead of 10 molar, I'm just writing 10. Instead of 15 milliliters, I'm writing 15. And instead of 300 milliliters, I'm just writing 300. All right, so we're gonna solve for M2. Well, I think all we have to do is divide both sides by 300. All right, if we do that, the 300s cancel. You'll have M2 equals 10 times 15 divided by 300. 10 times 15 divided by 300. And if you do that, uh, you'll get an answer of 0.5 molar HCl. So what this answer means is that if you take 15 mils of 10 molar HCl and then add water until the volume is 300 mils, the concentration of the diluted solution is 0.5 molar. Okay? So that's how you use the formula to figure out the molarity of the uh, diluted solution. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture number 78, Molarity, Preparations from Stock Solutions.